Hurstbed. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Trisha Hirschberger. Lee Newton. <gasps> science is awesome! I think we've established that already through the countless science stories that we do, but we've officially moved to a new level of awesome. Recently, researchers were able to grow sperm in a lab using skin cells. Okay, not only is this awesome because it's some super crazy advanced genetic stuff, but the idea is that by doing this, infertile men could have a shot, <laughs> literally, at fathering children that are genetically theirs. The exciting side of this is the breakthrough aspect of treating infertility, naturally. The hesitant side of this is that it does raise some moral and ethical concerns. I mean, should we meddle in something this significant. What kind of a future are we looking at with babies that are created through completely artificial means? Now, scientists have already succeeded in turning skin cells from embryos into sperm, but by using a man's skin cells, it would also mean that they would have his genes. Basically, these scientists used a bunch of chemicals to wind the biological clock back, turning them into skin cells with qualities like embryonic stem cells. Then they used different nutrients to coax them into developed round cells. Round cells just a few steps away from mature sperm. And they appeared genetically normal. Made from skin cells, people. This is dangerous. I mean, if you can get a hold of someone's skin cells, you're only a hop, skip, and a science jump away from having sperm? Yeah, that and the fact that every guy with a crazy girlfriend better watch his back, <laughs> right? Or his front, or wherever he has skin cells. Also, if I want a baby with Michael Fassbender, I just gotta get some skin cells, yo. <laughs> Not really how it works yet, Lee. I mean, we're a long way out from getting you a Fassbender baby. Okay. Scientists still need to work out some major kinks. Like, despite the fact that they should be able to fertilize eggs, these little babies don't have tails. They need tails. But we are on the road to treating a significant problem. One out of every six couples has problems conceiving, and men are to blame almost half the time. So this could be a real solution. It really could be. Again, the process is riddled with bioethical issues, but you have to admit that the mere possibility of something like this is very exciting. Yay, science! Woo! So guys, with these scientific advances being made, what do you think are the ethical issues? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click this here annotation or go to sourcefed.com for our five stories of the day or anything else we've ever done. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Lee Newton. I want a fast bender, baby. I know, someday. Okay.